Get off of me, Popo! Hey everybody, welcome back to Life with Roger. <laughs> uh, this video, I know you haven't seen me in like a little over a month, but this video is going to be uh, the beginning of a month-long water fast slash boot camp. We're calling it Daddy Daughter Boot Camp 2021 because not only have I gained some weight over this past winter, the holiday season was a bitch on my fat old ass. I like food. I ate a shit ton of it. Now, I lost some weight in January, but I totally caved in February, and just the whole month was a down month for me. Uh, I just ate and ate and ate 20,000 calories a fucking day, man. It was crazy. And I put the weight on that I lost in January. Again, it happens. I really don't care because I know I can get rid of it. It's finally starting to get warm outside where I can get off my ass and get back to moving. So I invited my daughter down for a month of fasting and just a 30-day quick little boot camp. Uh, if you've been watching since last year, you already know that she and I both cut some substantial weight last year. Uh, she put on a little bit of hers. I put on damn near all of mine that I lost last year. Seems like I'm in a really fucking weird cycle. But it's whatever. Uh, obviously, I'm still shirtless. There ain't no shame in the fat boy game. I might be an old man, but I still got a few good years left in me. And as long as I can keep doing it, I'm going to keep humping it out and cutting the weight. Now, I also struggle with binge eating disorder. For those of you that know me and that have been watching me for the past five or six years here on YouTube, you already know. I'm very open about my binge eating disorder. It's something I've struggled with my whole life, and it's something I will continue to struggle with the rest of my life, however long that may be. Every year, I cut weight. And every year, I normally have some times where I cave to the binge and I gain it back. Not always all of it, Sometimes I gain back five or ten pounds. Sometimes I go crazy. We had a snowstorm here this year in February, and the snowstorm just kept me locked inside. All I wanted to do was sit in my recliner and just munch the fuck out on all the stuff I could find. And that's what I did. I gained all that weight. Now, it's not a healthy thing to go, I don't care if I gain it because I know I can lose it. But let's face it, that's what we all do. I know I can lose it. So I allowed myself to just kind of lean into the binge this time. And that got me back up to like 244. It's right where I was at the start of boot camp for 2020. So basically, I haven't done shit this year. I mean, I lost a lot of weight, got really close to my abs, but I didn't get my abs, which is why my hair is still super fucking long. And going to keep getting longer and longer because I have a rule and I've had it for over two years now that I cannot cut my hair again until my abs are back showing. And you can see I've got some substantial fat back on me again. And you can also see that I'm not ashamed of it. I don't give a shit. I'll do what I do. So without further ado, let me introduce to y'all my daughter, the special guest, welcome back from last year's boot camp, Alexis, step the fuck on up. Hey y'all, hey y'all, did y'all miss me? <laughs> a little bit of a lag there, or either I jumped in the wrong moment. Yeah. Hey people. Just come in, introduce yourself, tell people where you're at. Do it in a your way kind of way. I'm crazy as shit, I can't help it. I'm like fucking nuts. And that's okay, because that's, that's basically who I am. Shit, I can't... I'm, I'm a crazy man. Come on, daughter. Hey, Dad. Thanks for having me back on the show. Hey, guys. How are y'all doing? Okay, so obviously you can see that I put on a little bit of weight. Um, roughly 15 pounds since boot camp, because, you know, the holidays and the COVID and, whoa, a lot of snow in Pennsylvania. Wowzers. Um... So dad's gonna help me lose weight and I'm gonna help him lose weight and this is gonna be fun. Let's do it. Well, it's not gonna be super fun because it's never super fun, but it's kind of fun, but also a lot of work. All right guys, so let's break down what we're gonna do during this 30 day boot camp. Now we have already started at the time of this video being made, we're already on our fifth day. 
We're past the three days in hell of our water fast, and we've been doing a, an average of 30,000 steps per day, and that's going to be our daily goal as far as steps go. Now, those steps are going to be coming to us from three different methods. One is going to be walking at the park for any days where it's dry and warm enough that we can actually go out there and walk. As you guys know, my daughter has two kids, my grandkids, and they have to be with us during the training. There's no all day, every day babysitter. My daughter doesn't trust anybody watching her kids other than like me. And obviously I can't watch them and exercise with her while she's somewhere else. So we're just gonna bring them with us. She bought a little wagon, it's cool. We're gonna pull them. Here, let me show you. Up and down the hill, you can see, this is gonna help her build those legs and tighten up that ass and lose that belly just a little bit. Lexus, raise your arms for me. As you can see here, she doesn't really have a whole lot of big bigness as far as the waist goes. She's got the, the girl ass, obviously, and her shoulders are somewhat broad. I think she got that shit from me. I have what some people keep calling a dad bod, and I call it a fat ass old man bod. But you can call it whatever the fuck you want. It's about 40 pounds of fat on my frame that I don't want. So I'm going to take these 30 days. I'm killing the 40 pounds that's on me. That's a fact. It's going to happen, Jack. You can deal. My daughter, she's like 15 pounds up, but we're going to take her down 20 to 25 pounds during these 30 days. I'm going to push her so hard she cries. And I've already pushed her to throw up every day. I'm not bragging. Yes, I am. I will push her until she damn near breaks because I push me till I break all the time. And I've done that so many times that I'm literally just an old ass fucking scar by this point. There's nothing inside this old man except for fat and food and a lot of fucking let's get it guts. So in addition to the 30,000 steps a day, we're also going to be working the sauna in. The 30,000 steps are going to come from a combination of the elliptical, which burns really good calories, walking at the park when it's pretty outside, and then just general steps. We may do laps between here and the in-laws. For those of you that have been watching me for a while, you already know I like to go back and forth to the in-laws because it is 10 miles round trip. And if I take the long way, it's 15 miles round trip and if I take the really long way it's 20 miles round trip so I can basically choose how many steps I want to do for each of those particular laps it's just the, the way it's set up from where my house is and their house is it's it's a simple 10,000 steps this way which is 20,000 round trip and it's 20,000 this way it's a big circle so if I want to do 30,000 steps, I just go 20 that way and come back to 10. If I want to do 20,000 total, I go 10 and 10. If I want to do 40,000, I go 20 and 20. It's very simple. It's easy, and I've already got it all mapped out. With the grandkids, though, it's tough to walk and be safe on the side of actual active roads, so we tend to do more walking at the park. We normally, last year, we did a lot of walking at Walmart, but COVID. And I don't want to wear a mask all fucking day. I don't mind wearing a mask when I go shopping or in a store. But if I'm going to be in there for six hours, the shit ain't happening. What about you, Lex? You like wearing a mask for six hours? I can't see with them, to be honest. They fog my glasses up. She wears the glasses. I need glasses. I can't see this shit. <laughs> I can see it there, though. I'm getting old. So be it. That's whatever. In addition to the steps... We're also going to be doing some light weight training. As you can see here, we're going to be doing curls, shoulders, push-ups, sit-ups, squats. Among other exercises, we're going to definitely get into these every single day. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Different exercises. Lots of different exercises with dumbbells, barbells, and everything else. We're going to be fasting for 30 days. The entire month of March in 2021 is going to be a fasted month to get both of us back into our bathing suit bodies, I guess. 
I don't really care about a bathing suit body. I just don't want to die from a heart attack because I binge eat. So I cut the weight down. If I gain it back next year, so be it. I'll cut it down again. I do this every year. And on the one hand, it's kind of sad because I get really close to my abs every fucking year. And then I just am like, fuck it. Now, binge eating disorder is a hell of a thing. It's an impulse control disorder. But let's be very, very real and clear here. I don't just blame the binge eating disorder for my weight gain. Obviously, I have some monicum of control or else I wouldn't be able to lose weight every year. So let's just put all of that right on my fucking head and we'll say that, you know what? Sometimes I just give in to the cravings and I choose to eat. And then I choose to overeat and then I gain weight. Then I get pissed at myself for choosing to gain the weight and I lose the weight. That's how it works. It's a cycle. It's been a cycle for over 20 years in my life. And that is what it is. So guys, let's talk about boot camp. For those of you that want to do it with us, I know we're starting five days in. That just means you need to run five days after we finish. We'll be live streaming sometimes to let you know what's going on. Mostly that's just going to be us when we're in the house on the elliptical and in the sauna. Now we have been trying to go simultaneous. One of us on the elliptical while the other's in the sauna. Unfortunately, Alexis has an issue with overheating and it makes her sick to her stomach a lot faster than it does me. I'm personally able to sit in the sauna for six or eight hours if I want to without any negative effects. She gets in for 30 minutes to an hour and she's just, hit, hit, dead, help me. I made it an hour and a half the first day, and then the second day I made it like 30 minutes before I threw up in my cup. It was disgusting. It was disgusting. I couldn't help it, though. I tried. I tried. But I did not. I was not going to be able to make it out of that thing. As long as we do the elliptical, that's where we burn most of the calories. The sauna is just good for helping us purge the additional sweat from our bodies. It helps us filter out a lot of the toxins, and it keeps our heart rate up when we're not on the elliptical or walking. Also, the heat really helps with the joints and the muscles, and it helps to recover. So for today, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you want to jump in on the boot camp, go ahead and comment below. You can comment directly at me or at Lexus. And we will not be checking in and making another official video until after the boot camp has ended. That's going to be April 1st. Until then... Maybe we'll see you live on stream. If not, honestly, I really just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know what's going on in my life. And I know y'all want to see her more than me, so. See, she's quiet again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but this time at least you don't ever get to see her in a bra, you know? Yeah, you get to see me in my awesome shirt. I like this shirt. Okay, then. Tell them goodbye. Oh, yeah. Bye, guys.